Let's go over crude oil, man. Okay, non-farm payrolls today. Let's go over this. Here is my projected short. What I said before the news, now non-farm payrolls comes out every single month. It's the biggest economic barometer of the month. We like to trade between 8.30 to 9.15 in the morning because that's your most volatility on non-farm payrolls. That's where you're going to get your best movement. All right? We only trade two setups. We trade a number one and a number three. Two setups in the trade room. These setups have been working for 30 years. Let's take a look at them. Here's my projection this morning. What I projected was, was a break of this major support level that we had this morning. When you trade a number three pattern, number three pattern is a break retest of old support or old resistance. You can see crude oil. We had major support right here at 45.30. We actually had a number one trade off my black charts at 45.30 this morning that you traders took. We said when it got up here, I said this is where you want to build your position at 8.27. You don't, you don't want to hold into news. So we took that from there. A lot of you traders to up here and we got that trade. I said the next trade setup is going to be this. This is a big level of support because why? I got my LVA on my own ninja charts for JSignal and over here on my black charts I had three times support. 45.33 was my Price profile, 45.30 was my volume profile, 45.30 was my hedge. Three times confluence. So as a trader, I'm educated and I know that if I break a three times support level, that's going to be new resistance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade a number three off that rejected area. What the market does is it breaks down. I'm looking for a number three pattern short. It breaks down, gives you a mini ABC here to go short if you want it without the fib dots, with the pull-in bar. I, keep, I tell you traders, if you don't break, right after news, inside of LVA, you get a pull-in bar, you're allowed to take it there. If you want to be more conservative, you can wait till the fib dots come up. Look for the arrow for an Elliott Way possible short. There's your triangle showing an order imbalance. There we got our second target. The, the whole setup was this. You broke through low value area. You broke through low value area, that gave it the tell. That's the tell to look for a number three pattern short. That was the tell right there. Let's go to the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 is one of my favorite instruments to trade with non-farm payrolls. I have a corrective wave, a counter, a counter corrective wave to trade this. If you get back inside of LVA, here's your tell to take it long on a corrective wave. There's your tell. There's your tell. Take the first ABC long. There it is. One, two, three pattern long. There's your Fibonacci dot. Notice it stopped right on my profile again. LVA never got, it's allowed to come down to this black line and still give a signal. But when it stops right on my LVA, then you get the arrow, then you get the triangle. That tells you, that's the tell that the market is now strong and it's going to have a possible hard move up with a very limited risk of only $150 risk. So that trade was $150 risk. And it's almost a $600 plus trade again in a matter of one minute, right? Almost two minutes. So the bottom line is, is it's the same thing as a crude oil. If I put crude next to here, it's the same trade. Only one's a buy, one's a sell. But look how market profile, my market profile on your own ninja chart set it up. This one, we broke through LVA and took the first ABC short that I, that I planned before the news even came out. I told you on the microphone, that's what I'm looking for. Right? Number three pattern short. Three times confluence broke. That's what we took a number one off of. Got below LVA. Take the first ABC short. There we go. If you look at the Russell 2000, we got above LVA. Right? We got above LVA, and that was the short. Okay? Now, if I bring gold into play, it's the same thing. Gold had a huge trade. It was a number three pattern short. On gold, here's my five sim rank on gold. Look at gold. Gold was also broke through LVA, come back up to the black line for a line of sand trade, and we got a huge gold trade from 1194 down to 88. It's another $600 trade from this trade. And it was the number three pattern also, and it's all predicated because it broke through LVA first, and it gave us a J signal short. Then it comes down with the wave five and gave another short here at the line of the sand on the three sim to confirm. 
Look at my three sim confirmed. I'll put it beside it so you can see. Another trade if you want confluence, how the five married up with the three. I keep teaching traders that the three and the five marry up. If you have major confluence for a trade, it's just been on fire this morning. You cannot miss these setups with J Signal with non farm payroll. It's just been on fire. That's an M top. There you go. Or you can take the one the line of sand trade at that level also. So we've been on fire with gold, Russell 2000, and crude this morning. All of them has produced really, really nice setups. We had, remember, come into the room also. You get, you get pre-news trades and post-trades with news. Pre-news and post-trades. The key is let market profile set the trade up and let JSIG on the first retracement be your trigger. Let market profile set the trade up and let JSignal be the trigger. That's how we trade. Okay? That's how we trade. It's the easiest way to do it.